It's not like they're gonna make a new show, like like a, like like a new reboot, complete reboot. I could get dubbed. Help. Man, I bet that guy feels pretty foolish, huh? Anyway, new video. Yeah, that's right. This video is a sequel to a video that I made last year regarding Urusa Yatsura and all the English dubs that the classic series got. I'll have a link to it in the description below. I highly recommend that you guys check that out. But if you're still here, here's a quick recap. Bad, it's goofy and British. This one's okay, but it's nearing lost media at this point. Today we're going to talk about the reboot that came out in 2022, because the dub of that came out in 2023. But before we get into any of that, let's take a moment to talk about the movies of the classic series. Most of the movies were done by Animego. You know, uh... What are you doing over there? It's to the time! Icha! Them. But unlike that dub, all the movies actually sound pretty good. The best of them, in my opinion, is probably Movie 1, Only You. The performances are on point, and the casting is just... Mwah. I can't believe you've been having an affair for 11 years! Miss Lum, please calm down. You yeah, shut up! Also, the performance coming from the mom is spectacular. I think she might be my favorite part of this movie. <laughs> It features a lot of iconic characters, so you have a pretty good idea of how they would have sounded. Movie 1's probably my favorite movie of the series, and the dub plays a very good part in that. The second movie, Beautiful Dreamer, is held in high regard, not only by fans of the series, but by fans of cinema as a whole. Beautiful Dreamer is also a bit of a weird case, seeing as it's the only movie that's not done by Animego. Instead, we can thank US Manga Corps. You know, the same people behind Utena, Slayers, Birdie the Mighty and you. As a result, the cast is very different, for better or for worse. I'm gonna say for worse. For starters, it kills me how they pronounce Mendo's name. Instead of Shuturo Mendo, they call him Shuturu Mendow. Hey Mendow, I don't know if this is an exhibit or what. Hmm, not so different from Shuturu. At least Shuturu's good looking. I don't care how good he looks, his name is stupid. He sounds like that thing the girl from Steins Gate keeps saying. At least it's good looking. Speaking of, Ataru and Mendo are both voiced by Vinny Penna. And I think that that's very important because A, not only is it the first time that those two are voiced by the same person, which kind of goes back to how much the show would tell you that Mendo and Ataru are basically the same person, and B, Vinny is the voice actor for Joey Wheeler. Something I wish I didn't know because I cannot unhear it. Hey, what's the matter, Mendel? Are you still mad at me? Like that? You know, the way I took your favorite card from you? <laughs> Stop dragging people into your disgusting dreams! Excuse me! And then you got the third movie, Remember My Love. This movie and the following movies are all done by Animego again, so, you know, no more of that shooteru stuff. You see, this movie is great because Lum's mom tries to set some exposition and tells Ataru where to go, but Lum's mom doesn't speak English, or Japanese, or whatever language I'm talking about, I don't even remember. Instead, she speaks the language of the Oni. <laughs> Meaning that the scene kinda comes off as... Yado Lum. Imagine walking into a screening without subtitles and then watching this scene. I would just assume that I had a stroke mid-viewing. And then a year after that we get the fourth movie, Lum the Forever. The dub for this is okay, nothing really stands out, it's a dub that does its job. Side note, this movie makes no sense even for Urusei Yatsura and I hate it. There are a lot of people who would argue Movie 4 is a multi-layered masterpiece only the finest of film connoisseurs could ever hope to comprehend. I'm not. I'm not and I feel no shame in admitting that. The plot to Movie 5 is significantly easier to follow, but that's because it's the only movie that doesn't have an original story. Instead, Movie 5 is an adaptation to the final arc of the manga. The final chapter gets a lot of bonus points from me because of the ending section where they reanimate a lot of iconic moments from the series. Darling, do you really love me? It's really refreshing to hear these moments in English. 
Plus, we see all of our good friends like Ben 10 and Ran and Inaba for some reason and Sakura. Sakura, what does this mean? Why do they call her Sakura? This is not the only movie to call her Sakura. In fact, all the Animego movies call her Sakura. The only movie that gets it correct is, ironically enough, Beautiful Dreamer. Miss Sakura! I guess in order to get one name right, we have to screw up another name. That's like, what, equivalent exchange? That's an anime thing. And as long as I'm being pedantic about these names, what's up with Ryanosuke? Or, in these movies, Unosuke. Hey, Unosuke, help me out, will ya? Like, guys, there is a re that I need to hear, otherwise I'm going to lose my mind. And a good couple of years after the series ends, we get the sixth movie, Always My Darling. This is either the best or the worst movie to have follow the final chapter, just because of how stupid it is. It's clear Atari's voice actor had a lot of fun doing this movie. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Boy, I got her good! I love that Atari's voice actor seems like he's having fun, but it is also unfortunate that, like, for half of the movie, the only thing he can say is <laughs> So much talent. Wasted. Honestly, now that I think about it, this movie has everything that I've been talking about from the beginning. Everybody's here, everybody's still an idiot, everyone still says Sakura, everyone still says Yunosuke, and Inaba's still here for no good reason. If you guys want a quick summary as to what Animego has to offer, Movie 6 is where it's at, I guess. Say what you will about Movie 6, but it actually sounds like the actors are having fun. And that's all that matters in my eyes. I don't give a shit about beautiful romance stories. I want stupid fun. Okay, I think we spent enough time talking about these movies, so, uh... TV show. That's right, the English dub of the new Urusei Yatsura. N Nurusei Yatsura? Can I even do that? Can I even do that? I'm gonna do that. The English dub for Nurusei Yatsura was announced on Monday, February 23rd of 2023 with the first episode dropping March 1st on High Dive. Pretty big news for a guy like me. I like this show, in case you haven't noticed. You can thank Sentai Filmworks, the same people behind Akiba Maid Wars, Oshinoko, Akame Ga Kill, and the other dub of Kakegururi. Yes, there are two dubs. Do not ask me why. So let's get into it. My official rating for this dub is... Good. Yeah, I've been enjoying the dub so far, it's very fun. I'm actually enjoying the dub a little more than I'm enjoying the Japanese version. Everything is on point, and all the voices do feel pretty natural. Hold on! Seriously? Well, of course I am, silly! Married couples live together! Like, these voices make a lot of sense, especially for the modern version of the show. It's interesting how this dub pronounces Ataru's name as Ataru. Well, Ataru? Shinobu! <laughs> I imagine that's the correct way to say his name, but like, man, man, it is weird after like 20 years of saying Ataru. Shout out to Sakura's voice actress, Brianna Roberts, who had me double over laughing just at the sound of her gasping. <laughs> this scene alone made it clear that the dub was in good hands. Seeing this lets me appreciate how we live in an age where dubs are just generally good. I mean, before, dubs were... you know. Nowadays, the Japanese version and the English version are basically interchangeable. Honestly, there are a lot of cases where the dubs are just flat out better than the original. GET INSIDE THE uh man! Like, shit, look at Chainsaw Man. Honestly, one of my favorite dubs of recent years. Yes. Everyone does really good, the translations are pretty much on point, and Kobetti's talk went up like 40% with this one line. I know what you are! <laughs> you go, girl. Get that rent. But yeah, the point is, I really like this dub, it's very well done, and yeah, I have no problems with it. In fact, me having no problems with it is, in and of itself, a problem. I can't make fun of it. I can't make any jokes about any weird performances or yell about how they screwed things up because they don't. It is ultimately just a good dub. Like, guys, you're putting me out of business here. I think the one big takeaway from all this is the fact that they made me listen to the word redonkulous. 
I'm tied with that dimwit! That's ridiculous! It's 2023. Say actual words, you dirtbags. Anyway, good dubs, good series, good everything, good yeah. Maybe if we behave ourselves, who knows, we could get a movie. And then they dub the movie. But until then... Uh...